Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will be exploring about cancer biomarker and its type. As you know, cancer biomarker are biological molecules, gene or characteristic that indicate the presence or the progression of cancer. They are usually measurable substance and changes that are associated with the presence of cancer and can be used for the detection, diagnosis and monitoring and prognosis of cancer. There are several types of cancer biomarker including genetic biomarker. Briefly, these are the changes or the mutations in the DNA that are associated with cancer. They can be used to detect inherited predisposition of cancer and can predict the likelihood of cancer development. The other type is protein biomarker. These are specific proteins that are produced by cancer cell or the body in response to fight cancer. They can be used to detect cancer and to monitor the effectiveness of the treatment. Apart from these, imaging biomarkers are also a significant section. These are the changes in the tissue or the organ detected by imaging techniques such as MRI, CT, PET scan. They can be used to detect cancer and to monitor the response to the treatment. Additionally, there are also metabolic biomarkers. These are the changes in the metabolic pathway of cancer cells that can be detected either in blood, urine or biological sample. They can be used to monitor the response to treatment and detect cancer recurrence. So you can see the biomarker is having significant application in the cancer research. So let's see the application of cancer biomarker. The number one is early detection. Biomarker can be used to detect cancer at the early stages. It can also aid in diagnosis. Biomarker can be used to confirm a suspected cancer diagnosis and determine the type and the stages of cancer. It can also help us to study about the prognosis. Biomarker can be used to predict the likely outcome of cancer and to determine the most appropriate treatment plan. Biomarker can be used to monitoring the effectiveness of the cancer treatment and to detect the cancer recurrence. And finally, it also has a significant role in personalized medicine and precision diagnostic. Biomarker can be used to identify patients who are most likely to benefit from a particular treatment and to tailor treatment plan to the individual patient. As you are seeing in the current era, the bioinformatics and omics is playing a significant role in the biomedical sector. So does they have any significant role in cancer research and cancer biomarker study? Yes, bioinformatics and omics can be used to study and detect cancer biomarker. As we know, bioinformatics is the application of computational technique to analyze biological data and omics refer to the study of all molecule and biological systems such as genomics, transcriptomic, proteomic, metabolomic and so on. Thus, bioinformatics can be used to analyze large data set generated by omic technology to identify potential cancer biomarker. For example, Genomic analysis can identify mutation or changes in the gene expression that are associated with cancer, while proteomic analysis can identify protein that are specific to cancer cell. Omic technology can also be used to detect cancer biomarker directly. Furthermore, bioinformatics can be used to integrate data from different omic technology and to develop predictive model for cancer diagnosis, prognosis and treatment. By analyzing large amount of data from multiple sources, bioinformatics can identify pattern and relationship that may not be apparent through the traditional laboratory technique. Bioinformatics and omics are powerful tools for studying and detecting cancer biomarker and can provide valuable insight into the underlying biology of cancer and the development of personalized cancer treatment. In addition to bioinformatics and omics, these days AI and ML is also having significant role in the biomedical sector. Let's see whether they are having significant role in cancer research and cancer biomarker studies. Indeed, artificial intelligence and machine learning is having significant role in the cancer biomarker studies. As we know, AI and ML are powerful tools that can analyze large data sets, identify pattern and relationship, and develop predictive models. In contrast to cancer biomarker, artificial intelligence and machine learning can be used to analyze large data sets generated by omic technologies such as genomic, transcriptomic, proteomic, epigenomic, metabolomic, etc. 
They can identify the pattern and relationship that may not be apparent through the conventional techniques. AI and ML can identify potential cancer biomarker by analyzing large amount of data from different sources such as omic, imaging data. They can also identify novel biomarkers that have not been previously identified. AI and ML can also develop predictive models that can predict the likelihood of cancer development, diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment response. These models can be used to tailor treatment plan to the individual patients. Artificial intelligence and machine learning can also improve the accuracy of cancer diagnosis by analyzing the imaging data and identify the changes that may be missed by the human radiologist. Thus, we can see that the artificial intelligence and machine learning can be used to study and detect cancer biomarker by analyzing the large data set, identifying the potential biomarker, developing the predictive model, and by improving the diagnostic accuracy. They can provide valuable insight into the underlying biology of cancer and the development of personalized treatment. So in conclusion, here is the different type of biomarker which are associated with cancer. Please have a look. These include genetic biomarker, epigenetic biomarker, protein biomarker. In the recent time, studies have been done on circulating tumor cells and circulating tumor DNA, which is also having significant role in cancer biomarker. Apart from these, the microRNA biomarker and immune biomarker is also under the studies. And finally, metabolic biomarker, imaging biomarker or cell-free DNA fragments can also be utilized in cancer biomarker studies. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.